Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great day. I am the Dutch Raider and today we're back to my favorite guns of Battlefield 5. A couple of weeks ago we took a look at the Assault Rifles and now we're continuing with the Assault Class. This time it are the semi-automatic rifles that are up for grabs. I've added my 5 favorite semi-autos to this list. These are all weapons that I tend to run around with the most. So let's get started. A little disclaimer at the start of this video, this is my personal opinion. If your favorite gun didn't make my list, it doesn't mean it's trash, just that I suck too much to make it work. But let me know down below what your favorite weapon is and why it's the bomb. Now on to the first weapon. It is the AGM-42. The first time I used this rifle I thought it was really bad. But then I figured out that once again the fault isn't with the rifle but with myself. I wanted to spam out every round as quick as possible and kept missing my shots. And that was where I was wrong. The AGM is a good weapon for medium to long ranges. It has the highest bullet velocity with a whopping 880 meters per second. This is higher than all the sniper rifles. And that is where this weapon excels at. With its small magazine of 11 rounds, thanks to the detachable magazine, this rifle has some challenges if you're on your own. So make sure you use this weapon into support of your squad or team. Fire from cover and be an assist to your teammates. Up next is the Selbstlader 1916. For the upgrades I went with the high velocity bullets, recoil buffer, trigger job and barrel bedding. Which turns this slow firing rifle into a slightly faster weapon with 257 rounds per minute. And a bullet velocity which rivals the AGM with 860 meters per second. Although this weapon does have the slowest reload of all the weapons in this list, but thanks to its magazine of 26 rounds, you won't be needing to reload it as often as other rifles. With a damage profile of 45 to 34 at long ranges, this weapon is a guaranteed 3 hit kill. The downside of this weapon is its high recoil. You will need that millisecond to reset your aim after every shot. But once you manage to keep it under control, it is a true master at medium to long range engagements. Before we get to our top 3 of today, let me know which weapon type you would like to see covered next, as we continue our Battlefield 5 vibes in 2021. Now if you like this video, a like is very much appreciated. And if you want to never miss out on new content, hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get an update every time we release another video. Also, if you guys are on Facebook, check out our page where I like to engage with you and try to regularly upload short clips. The link is in the description down below. Then on to the number 3 for this list. I've gone with the M1 Garand. Decked out with the quick aim for that snappy ADS. Quick reload because we only get 8 rounds in the clip so you will be reloading so much with this rifle. And Hans grips and heavy load for that extra bullet damage. Now this weapon is offset by its very small magazine. But with its damage profile of 45 to 36 at long ranges, this weapon is more than often a 2 shot kill if you manage to land a little headshot. Otherwise it won't take you more than 3 shots to down the bugger. Besides that, it has a very decent firing rate of just shy of 300 rounds per minute and a very fast bullet velocity of 780 meters per second. For this weapon I will say the same as the AGM. Use it in conjunction with your squad or other teammates, as the constant reloading does make you a little bit vulnerable against multiple enemies. But otherwise, I always enjoy myself very much, as that ping after you shoot 8 rounds is so satisfying and makes this rifle just fun to use. The number 2 on this list shouldn't come as a surprise. It is the Gewehr 43. Very capable again for the medium to long range engagements. A similar damage profile to the Garand to give that 3 hit kill guarantee. Also a similar recoil to the Garand, but comes with 3 bullets more in its magazine, giving it just that little edge over the M1. Thanks to its lower rate of fire, it is not hard to control its recoil for longer ranges and makes this a fearsome foe to take on the enemy. Just stay out of close range uh, engagements as you will lose those battles against SMGs or assault rifles that keep running around there. Both the M1 and Gewehr have some nice gunplay animations, which makes them bottom out my top 3. But there is one weapon which tops all of these weapons in my opinion. Not only because it is a good looking rifle, but also because it caters to my kind of playstyle, which is a bit rushy, up in your face kind of style. I like to be on the front where the fighting is thickest, 
and that makes the low magazine capacity of both the M1 and the Gewehr a liability, which more than often gets me killed when I'm trying to take out multiple enemies. So in those cases, I like to take out the number one on my list. It is the M1A1 Carbine, a low damage, close to medium range semi-automatic rifle. With its low 30 to 22 damage, it is a 4 to 5 shot kill, with the damage drop off laying at 15 meters. So I like to use this weapon in city or heavily covered maps. Think of Rotterdam, Underground, Devastation, etc. Because of its relative low velocity of 610 meters per second, you don't even want to use it at long ranges, because you need to lead your target a lot. Now, while I love this weapon, it has the biggest magazine of all the weapons on this list. With 31 rounds of spammy semi-auto power, with the extended magazine of course, and a whopping 449 rounds per minute, it fires as fast as your finger can click that trigger. Decked out with quick aim, it gets really snappy on the aim down side. Slings and swivels to shoot faster after sprinting, extended magazine to get to the capacity of 31, and finally enhanced grips to make sure it's even better at hip firing at close ranges. With all of this, it turns the M1A1 carbine into my favorite semi-automatic rifle. Perfect for my personal playstyle, snappy, spammy, just how I like it. Let me know what your favorite rifle is on this list, or why I should have added any other rifle that you've had great success with. If you like this video, please leave a like, check out the subscribe button for more, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.